know that 2.7 trillion animals are pulled from the oceans each year. To feed the demand for 90 million tonnes of fish, enormous fish nets are used. But for every single pound of fish caught, there's up to five pounds of untargeted species also trapped, such as dolphins, sharks, turtles, etc. It's estimated that our oceans could be fishless by 2048. But putting all the environmental aspects aside, consuming such large amounts of fish is also massively putting our health at risk. This is largely due to the fact that our oceans are highly contaminated with industrial carcinogens such as PCBs, mercury, DDT, PBDEs, dioxins and other flame retardant chemicals. These industrial carcinogens are found in extremely high levels in fish and can have devastating effects on our health. Production of many of these chemicals are now restricted However, PCBs, for example, started to be phased out in the 1970s because of their environmental hazards. But before that, some 1.4 million tonnes had been created. And alarmingly, they do not naturally degrade. Let's hear now from Dr Michael Greger as he discusses more about the dangers of eating fish. Now, although the levels of, of dioxins and PCBs are in decline, there is one dietary source that still remains a threat, and that is fish. Everything eventually washes down into the sea. Here's the, uh, here's the tolerable upper daily limit, according to the World Health Organization, one trillionth of a gram. And as you can see, um, just eating dairy, and you're already skirting the max, but uh, at any level of fish intake, and you are way over the top. Now everyone agrees that these long chain omega-3, these marine fatty acids like DHA found in fish flesh are healthy. But given the industrial contaminants in fish, as we see in, in food and chemical toxicology, if people actually get these long chain omega-3 fatty acids from fish, the majority of people would exceed these safety guidelines for these dioxins and dioxin-like substances. And interestingly, just like in fish, farmed fish, these factory farmed fish, have significantly higher levels. In fact, for every chemical studied, farmed fish have more DDT, more of these other banned pesticides, 10 times more PCBs, 10 times more dioxins than wild caught fish. A fish consumption provides nutrients, but all fish also contains methylmercury, this known neurotoxin. And mercury is a cardiac toxin as well, so the DHA, these long-chain omega-3 fatty acids and fish fats, is decreasing your risk of heart attack. The mercury in that very same fish is increasing your risk of having a heart attack. Once upon a time, routine childhood vaccinations contained a mercury-containing preservative called thimerosal. Well, the amount of mercury that goes into one's body in a single serving of canned tuna, which is about half a can, the amount of mercury found in a half a can of tuna is equivalent to getting injected with how many thimerosal containing vaccines? One. Hundred. A hundred vaccines for every single serving of tuna. Right. By getting our um, omega-3s from plant sources, we can get all the benefits without the rest, all the benefits without the hundreds of thousands of years of brain damage um, for our children. These omega-3 fatty acids, where do you think the fish get it from? They get it from plants, and we can too. These tiny little plants called golden algae. Right? This is what it looks like. It's grown organically, so no heavy metals, industrial toxins. It's grown sustainably, so we are not contributing to the extinction of our ocean wildlife. It's grown hygienically. The studies have found that the algae-based um, DHA is 100% is bioequivalent to that that found in fish flesh. So I recommend everybody take 250 to 300 milligrams of microalgae-based DHA every day. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone, right? Because certainly fish eaters um, aren't getting enough. And if they did, then they would be um, getting way too many toxins. Just to finish, we've all heard of the dangers of having amalgam fillings put in our teeth because they contain mercury and release a certain amount every day. However, eating just a single can of tuna a week is the equivalent to living with 29 mercury-containing fillings. And remember, we only have 32 teeth. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.